Hey guys, it's Boy in Blue 823. Um, I just want a real quick video. Um, I know that a lot of you that have been watching my videos know how much I've been complaining about the uh, the stock that I have on my Bushmaster, the Carbon AR-15 here, and how I didn't like it. It felt too small. wasn't you know at a good arm's length for me. And I've been looking around on you know what what I want to get. So I finally shot a buddy of mine. Um, he has the ATI. Uh, strike force package on his ar-15 and i love the way it felt i love you know everything that everything about the rifle with that on it felt good for me so i went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought it, it was relatively expensive um you got the strike force stock and then it you also got the scorpion recoil system with this and it was like 78 bucks um and that's all you got you got that and that that's it um and it came with a cheat guard on it which is on the stock too but uh just real quick i've never purchased anything from ati before so this was a first this is just the box sleeve you know this is just what wraps the box i want to show you guys the box real quick just because i don't know if i'm a little bit of an idiot for thinking that <laughs> this is so cool but look at this this box you know it's magnetic it's got a magnetic flap on it and then you open it up and just for those i already took the stuff out but just for this is where the cheek rest plate went this is where the grip went. This is where the stock went. But this is a freaking... I think you pay more for the box than you do the actual product. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I was really impressed with the uh, with the packaging on that. Um, we'll get right into it. Let me pull the AR forward a little bit here. And we're basically only interested in the stock portion of it. Uh, but you know, everybody has that's watched my videos knows how much I dislike that stock because it's so small. Hey, Johnny Dunn, thank you. Um, but uh, here's the the new one. And just by comparison, well, if I could get the damn thing in frame. Let's see here. I mean, just, just by comparison, well, let me turn it around here. And look. Look at how much that dorset. It's so much, you know, wider, bulkier, and it adds, you know, it adds a good inch, inch and a half on onto your uh, onto your buffer tube there. So I I took this one off last night, put this one on. Um, loved the way it felt, absolutely loved it. Uh, but I put this one back on until I get out to the range, put this on, and do some shooting uh, to make sure that you know it's not going to ch uh, change my. Uh, my sight picture at all, which I'm sure it is, because my cheek rests so much higher. I'm going to just estimate that with the new, with the uh, strike force on there, I'm guessing my cheek probably raised, is raised up to about here for my line of sight. So I'm guessing that just changed everything. So I have, you know, I'm going to wait till I get out to the range before I actually put it back on. As far as the grip, um, you know, this is the Scorpion recoil system. This is a very cushy grip. Um, I'm not real sure what the material is made out of. I did put this on, took the uh, the old stock grip off, but it didn't fit because of the beaver tail here. It's too long by about that much, so I'm going to have to shave it off so that it fits uh, because of the single sling adapter that I put on back here. It kind of extends past where it should, so i got to shave shave this off a little bit but this it's pretty beefy um it feels good in the hand but i can't tell you how i like it on the rifle because i haven't got it on yet so whenever i did all this i opted hey what the heck let's buy the ati buffer tube buffer spring you know all that good assembly so i got everything here i went from this that's a four to the six but i don't think i'm gonna put this on i might just put i gotta say it is quiet so I don't get caught. I might just put this on on a back shelf somewhere. So if I do a build, so I've got I've got the full you know I've got the full assembly, the castle nut, the back plate. Then they gave me a little you know castle nut tool here. I might just because after I put this on this four position stock, it felt great. I mean it felt wonderful. So I might just put this somewhere so that whenever I get a lower and you know start a little build going. But so that's. I just wanted to show you guys that hey look i finally uh pulled the trigger got a stock um i, I just have to wait till i get out to the range and we'll put her on so if you guys have uh 
have had a strike force system before from ATI and there's anything that you think that I need to know about this product, please let me know. But as far as I've seen, there's you know nothing but good reviews on it. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Catch you later.